So for this year's award, we submitted a project for the Children's Hospital Courage Classic Bike Tour. And it was a, an application to help the riders stay in contact with the agenda, the map of the routes that they had to choose from, um, as well as tied in their donation um, URL with Facebook posts so that the people who they were soliciting donations from could uh, click on their link and contribute right away just directly to the Children's Foundation. I'd say the most innovative thing that we did for this project was took aspects of other app apps that were built already and used either their API or other services that, that were available to the public and incorporated them in so that we saved on time and budget. Every client's problem is unique and we try to match the technology to those problems that best fit as well as to the time frame. We had a very short time frame to deliver this particular app and we wanted breadth of distribution. So we were able to use our past experience of what we know works and integrate that very quickly. What we're doing is taking uh, public state government databases, we're knitting them together and then making them available to the public. And as part of that availability, uh, we've challenged the business community and we've challenged the technology programming community uh, to come up with ideas and programs and we are actually licensing those programs to help use that data. We're making this data available and we're making practical use of it. Now, probably the biggest obstacle we had to overcome to get success on this project is just teaching the people the value and the way of thinking that's different because when you talk about uh, public data and putting it together and knitting it together. It's a new, it's a new way of doing things in government. It's a new type of public-private partnership. People aren't used to that. So first you have to explain what it's about and how it has value. And once you do that, then everything else falls into place. We submitted our Exceed in the Air project, and that is a project where we deliver high-speed uh, internet access to aircraft customers, currently with JetBlue and United Airlines. Our Exceed in the Air platform provides the highest uh, throughput of internet access, 12 megabits per second to every passenger on the plane. Uh, we have over 200 planes currently configured, uh, 450 by the end of the year are planned. One of the key obstacles was the fact that our network is a series of spot beams. So like cell towers uh, as you're driving down the highway. And so we had to overcome the ability to hop from beam to beam to beam. As aircraft are flying at 35,000 feet and 500 miles per hour, it's, and not drop anyone's coverage, anyone's internet access, whether you're emailing, you're downloading something, you're watching a video, uh, maintain coverage and without dropping the service. So far through the end of September, we have delivered um, access to 1.6 million personal electronic devices with as many as 148 on a single aircraft, and none of our competitors can say that.